Gary, you say that you've actually been adding on to shares after this news. Why? Well, Betty, at the Hodges Fund, uh, we've been adding to Boeing because it's held up remarkably well. And when we look at Boeing, we see a long cycle of upgrading uh, the new airplanes. We see growing revenue. We see growing cash flow, growing earnings. And they had a great quarter that they just announced this morning. And we think those earnings over the next two, three, four years, as they keep rolling out these new fuel efficient 787s, will approach over the next three or four years, $8 a share. Right. And when we look at Boeing uh, with that kind of earnings, we think the stock is, is dirt cheap at these Gary, levels. Gary, even if the stock is cheap, I have to ask, you know, uh, talking to analysts, it seems like the support for Boeing is that the issue is, say, with just the lithium ion batteries for the Dreamliner. If there's a bigger problem with the electrical system, if they have to switch out the batteries and put nickel in, what does that do to your forecast? You know, we think it will only be temporary. I mean, it would. But even if they have to change the electrical down. system, it'll only be temporary. I mean, that well, could be a huge it slow, change. It could certainly slow down production. They're producing five, seven, eighty-sevens a month now. They believe they could go to ten, and you know that could certainly impact it. But we think this is just going to be a minor glitch that will be overcome. You know, Boeing has every engineer in the country working on the problem now. We're confident in management and Jim McNerney getting this thing right. And we think as you look out two and three years that this will just be a bump in the road for Boeing and that uh, they'll get it fixed. And if you go back and look at when the 777 came, the 747s, there's always these minor glitches. And granted, this isn't a minor glitch. No, it's not a maybe minor it glitch. Maybe it, well, it could be. And... And I a think fire the stock on a plane, though, would be hard to say a minor glitch. Well, well, well Gary, let me just uh, let me just point something out. Uh, you know, Elon Musk, uh, who is you know with his SpaceX, a competitor of a company like Boeing. You know, he's been tweeting and writing emails out to uh, various people uh, talking about Boeing, and he's you know he's. He said actually to Flight Global uh, earlier yesterday, yesterday that, he, that these batteries are fundamentally uh, unsafe. And he also said that he has a desire to help Boeing. He tweeted this out that Boeing is real and, and he's corresponding uh, with the 787 chief engineer. So, uh, you know, he's just sort of adding his, uh, his opinion and view and, and perhaps help uh, to Boeing. But, you know, but Gary, as someone who is obviously following this very closely, how much do you have to pay attention to outside opinions, particularly when Elon Musk says these batteries Batteries are just unsafe. You know, my confidence is in Boeing and Boeing's management, and Boeing's engineers, that they'll get this right. You know, they spent millions of hours designing, developing this plane, and and I'm going to leave it in their hands as an investor. And I think that, you know, granted it is a big glitch, but I think they'll overcome this in the near term. The stock's held up remarkably well in spite of the negative news out there. Yeah. And so we're going to continue to buy it. We think if, if over the next three years, if Boeing could earn $8 a share, it's a fabulous stock to own. It's okay. what we look for in the Hodges Equity Income Fund. They just announced in December a 10% increase in dividend, yes. a $3.6 billion share buyback. And as investors, that's what we're looking for.